taxi, please. We're right in the middle of so. No, no, no. Actually, it, it, it's okay. So, so what's going on? He's in trouble. He he went after Anthony Zagaro with a gun. Yes, he gave me this whole speech about how Danger was calling his name and he had to answer. I tried to stop him and make him listen to me, but he just kissed me again and then took off. To go find Anthony? Uh, yeah, he was looking through this whole file he had on Anthony in his office. Are, are you sure you're not overreacting this time? Jason, Spinelli is going after Anthony Zagaro with a gun. I swear, if you don't do something, he's gonna get himself killed. Okay, I need you to tell me everything that happened at the PI office from the top. Fine. Um, I went to the office to talk some more with Sam because she's being so stubborn about not admitting what she wants. Sorry. Um, and Jackal PI was there. He was going through this file he had put together on Anthony's car. I tried to get him to focus on me, but he just hey, blew me hey, off again. Listen, listen, we need you to focus. So you said he went after Anthony? That wasn't until after. After what? After the kiss. Oh, that was a big kiss, too. I mean, kissing Jackal PI is nothing like kissing Spinelli. Jackal PI is just so into it. It's so hot. He just goes right for it. Oh my God, please don't tell Matt I said that. What, what, what about the gun? Right, the gun. Um, so while we were kissing, I felt this bulge in his pocket and it was a gun, it was a real gun. And that's when he told me he was going after crazy Anthony Z. I tried to stop him and he walked right out the door. You guys stay here in case Spinelli comes back. In my eye. Four. Hurry up and get to one, will you kid? I'll gladly shoot you at this point. Spinelli. Let him go. Perfect timing. Your buddy here was just about to walk with a limp for the rest of his life. I suggest you and Sonny keep a closer eye on your employees. This one apparently fried his brain watching a few too many gumshoe flicks. He thinks he's stuck in the Maltese Falcon or something. This isn't over, Zikara. Frankly, Spinelli, I don't give a damn. Have fun with that one, kid. Make sure he doesn't come near me again. I won't always be this generous. I'll take that back now, please. What are you doing? Anthony could have killed you. President Anthony's all talk, no action. Believe me, I had him exactly where I wanted him, just like the son stood before. Oh, and if you need a few lessons about kissing people with your fists, I'm your man. Okay, but it was close. What, what do you mean close? Jason said that Anthony was holding Smelly's gun on him when he got there. Was Smelly hurt? No, thank God. Anthony didn't fire back, and Jason's bringing Spinelli to the PI office right now. I don't know, Sam. I mean, maybe Spinelli should have a psychiatric exam. I'm just really scared with the way he's been acting lately that they'll institutionalize yeah, him like forever. I know what you're talking about. He does need some help, and it's really frustrating because there should be some way that we can bring Spinelli's real personality back. That's right. I, I got so distracted, I forgot to ask. Ask what? Well, when I got here, Jason said you guys were in the middle of something, and he looked annoyed. I mean, more annoyed than yeah. usual, so what's up? Yeah, that. Yeah, that. What's going on? Well, you got your way. We were uh, talking about marriage. Jason proposed? Not exactly. I think it's a, a little bit more complicated than that. Complicated? Uh. The man you've been head over heels in love with for years has finally gotten a clue and wants to marry you? What's complicated about that? I don't know. I think a part of me is terrified that if Jason and I were to actually get married, we would ruin everything we have right now. Take it easy, Ox. Keep it. Keep your mitts off me from now on, you regular jacket. Shut up. Watch your mouth. Jack will be iced out with plenty of trigger men like you before. You got any butts? What? Butts. Gaspers, cigarettes. I seem to have misplaced my deck of luck. You, you don't smoke, Spinelli. Yeah, whatever you say, pal. Oh, and thanks for gumming up my operation with Crazy Anthony. I had him right where I wanted him until you came along. I was going to give him a lesson in respect, just like I did the Sunster. You know what? You're, you're only alive because you know where Sonny's money is, and I begged everybody for the past week not to kill you. Well, I see. You're jealous. I get it. I get it. Makes sense, too. I mean, after all, you're just a trigger man, taking orders from the Sunster. Where me, see, I get to walk the mean streets solo, taking orders from no one. I feel your pain. You know, it, it must be uh, nice not to have to take orders from anybody, right? You know what, I could use somebody like you, actually, an uh, independent contractor. Is the Jackal P.I. available for hire? In other 
little spot of trouble, eh? And who else would you turn to? Yeah, sure, I'll give you the go-ahead, but it's gonna cost you. Two for an hour plus expenses. Extra charge for gonna be dodging slugs. No, I'll, I'll pay extra now because it's gonna be uh, risky. Well, danger's my business. Now let's talk turkey. Give me the lay. The what? The lay of the land. Jeez, Morgan, you really are a sap sometimes. I need the details of the job. Yeah, the job. It's a surveillance job. Ah. Yes, there's a bakery, Luzetta's, on first. And it looks like a normal bakery, but I'm pretty sure that it's a front. Ah, the old hide behind the innocuous business routine. Right. But what's really in the flower, eh? Exactly. So I need you to watch the bakery, keep track of who comes in and out. You see if Crazy Anthony actually shows up to supervise? No, 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 it's not this car this time. It's another crime family. They're even more dangerous. The Truillos. Okay, now look, this bakery, it looks normal. I think it's a front for their full operations, and I need to know what's going on in there, but I can't risk being spotted. That's why I need you. It's a wise choice, Morgan. And another thing, do not make contact with them for any reason. We cannot risk your cover being All blind. Right, hold up, Morgan. I'm no two-bit amateur. You're dealing with a pro. Don't you worry. Jack B. has got this under control. From what I've seen, when two people get married, it's probably one of the quickest ways to ruin a relationship, and I don't want that to happen to me and Jason. Okay, but you and Jason are practically married anyway. I mean, you guys live together. You do everything together if it's no, not mob-related. I, I understand that, but when two people go through the actual formality of getting married, both sides have these expectations. They have this preconceived idea how things are supposed to be once everything is official. And if the marriage falls apart and the expectations aren't met, then it's, it's over. And Jason and I have been through so much already. You know, we, we were together for a really long time, and then we broke up for a really long time, and I honestly thought in my deepest heart of hearts that we would never find our way back to each other, and we did. Somehow, we did. And it's been really great since then. And I'm just really scared to mess that up. I mean, that's pretty much why I didn't marry Spinelli. I thought it would change everything. But the truth is, our non-marriage plan didn't work either. Our relationship ran its course and ended anyway. And now I'm just left wondering if Spinelli and I had gone through with it, if we had gotten married. Would it have worked out? Hey, Spinelli's okay? He's alive, for now, anyway. So you were able to talk Anthony down? Well, you know, Spinelli got lucky. Anthony's so crazy that he thought the whole thing was funny and he gave me Spinelli's gun back and he took off and I don't think he's gonna find it funny the next time. Oh, uh, there can't be a next time, Jason. We've gotta find a way to help Spinelli. I know. So, uh, Maxie gone? Yeah. She went to the PI office after I told her that's where Spinelli was. It's just us. Yeah, you know, maybe uh, you should you should go there too, and 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 talk to Spinelli because I actually hired him for a, a fake job. You did what? Yeah, I made up this, uh, you know, fake surveillance assignment, and hopefully it'll keep them occupied and safe until we can actually figure out what to do next. Wow, that's... that's brilliant. I and mean, what do you have them spying on? Uh, you know, the bakery on First Street, the one with the, the cookies you love so much? I, I told Spinelli it was a front for the trios. So basically, you know, I have him sitting across the street all day writing down who comes in and out, and I told him that he cannot have contact with anybody at all, and, and hopefully nothing's going to happen to him. Well, that sounds pretty harmless. With Spinelli being Jack O.P.I. and all, I guess you never know. Right? Hey, Spinelli. McCall. Couldn't stay away from the mean streets, eh? Well, I got good news for you. We got a new case. Big one. Risky, too. Morgan just gave me the rap. We're taking on the Trujillos. Hmm. Keeping tabs on their operational headquarters. The two of us should be able to put a finger on what's really going on. Hmm. What's got you all clammed up? You haven't fallen prey to all that sap from Morgan, have you? Don't tell me you're gonna trash a perfectly good P.I. career to marry that palooka. 
If Jason's ever seriously considered proposing, he'd thought better of it by now. I definitely won't be getting married anytime soon. I know you're in there. I want to know exactly what this case is that you have Spinelli working on, and if it's dangerous, I'm going to be so mad. Just, just relax, okay? I made it up. Made it up? What do you mean you made it up? Spinelli's acting like he's taking down the entire drug cartel. Yeah, Spinelli's staking out a bakery. Perfectly normal bakery. No danger. Sam's gonna be with him. It's gonna be just fine. Sam's gonna be with him? Oh, okay. So you have more time to plan. Plan what? Well, when I barged in earlier, I know you guys were talking about marriage, and I'm really sorry. I didn't want to interrupt or discourage you, because I had a heart-to-heart -heart with Sam. And I can say with absolute conviction that despite her cold feet and perfectly normal misgivings, she wants to marry okay, you. Okay, Max, you can, you can stop trying to convince me, okay? I'm gonna propose to Sam. Just don't know when. And I have to make sure I do it the right way. <laughs> 